so now that we're going to take more of a, a project management approach to the APL demo, I just want to take a second and share some of my thoughts around um, some of the features and functions that we'll use and maybe an approach within project management to, to meeting the, uh, the, the, the client's objectives. Um, so I've signed in here, I've got a project management responsibility, right? Um, you know, of course, the first thing is, and this kind of answers, one of their <coughs> requirements is being able to um, be able to track what work they're doing. For an individual to be able to track that, and also for um, you know, the organization to be able to track where they're at in terms of taskings. And here again, we have the, our embedded uh, social, you know, we've got documentation here, we've got all the comments associated with it. You know, here, here's a requirements document, we can open this up, we can edit it online. Uh, a lot of capabilities here, you know, to be able to do things. You know, we can do annotations and mark it up. Um, again, very nice, you know, to be able to communicate, you know, where the organization is and really to be able to do task management, which is something in essence they really want to do. Um, again, we can do some infolets here that, that would, uh, you know, be able to present information that the individual needs, the user needs to understand, you know, status of projects, status of tasks, time cards. You know, all those important items that they need to be able to really manage the organization. Not have to go out and drill for that kind of stuff, right? In terms of projects, there's really thought about this two different types of projects, right? One is the project um, that was an EBS that really is executed against in terms of financials. So, you know, Navy gives us a million dollars. We set that project up. We have costs, billings, all that kind of stuff, right? The second, and that really is when we do our costs here, when we add our labor and non-labor, we capture that. That really has to be captured against that project. So maybe we pull that financial project over, it's structure, right? And I think that's really all we need. Structure, pull that over um, into this solution. And then we put our time, we execute against that. The second is really a project management execution project. And that's where I'm doing a printing, right? I've got an assignment that's part of this bigger initiative and it's to do, you know, create some layouts or create you know, binders or documentation. I've got taskings with that. I then have people associated that, deliverables, work items, and, and really get into being able to manage that. So I, th I think that's where I've kind of had that breakdown before in terms of uh, trying to figure out what would approach it. So that might be the approach we take. You know, some key things within here, of course, is project management, right? And again, this is where, um, you know, we'll be able to, this is the federal reimbursable project, right? So this is one maybe they pulled over from EBS that they're able to bill against, they've got their work, financial work breakdown structure and such, right? So maybe we create a second project and that is specifically for the deliverable of the, the item, right, whatever they're working on. And within that, you know, we can put things like priority on the tasks, work items, deliverables, we can assign resources, you know, I mean, all of those type of project management tasks that really I think they're doing. And then based on that, be able to manage and track all that, track your deliverables, track your work items, raise issues, um, you know, look who's available, where they're at, what their uh, capabilities are, are they available now, you know, make sure they're not on vacation during the execution of this. Um, so really doing, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and also, of course, just noting here, you know, we can also, um, oh, sorry, we can actually do all of our analytics, right? So they talk about being able to do reporting, we can do some dashboards, some cool stuff, right? I also, within here, have the ability to manage my work. So, you know, in terms of task management, not only, um, you know, I can look at one spot, have all the tasks that I'm working on, I can do percent complete, I can manage all of these, right? Um, you know, I can open them up. I can create new tasks here, very easy. Again, got, you know, finish date issues, followers, I can tag things. I can have social conversations around these. 
Um, again, then I've got my project manager dashboard for even a higher look. So if I'm a project manager and I've got eight initiatives going on, I can look at all of them, see where they are in the resources. And, and then a team member dashboard to be able to look at you know, individual, um, you know, my progress, activity, what's my calendar, being able to see my calendar, be able to look at people, you know, with their assignments. Now, if we want to get and really get into that financial part, again, we've got project financial management in here too. So there's kind of like two things here, right? Um, you know, they'll be able to, you know, here's just a listing of all the projects and, you know, where they are in terms of, um, um, you know, their billable, their finished date, where they are. You can drill into each one of these. But also within here, you can, oops, sorry. you have the ability to be able to put your uh, cost in. So what you can do is you can open Excel spreadsheet. And unfortunately, there's, there's not one spreadsheet. There's one for labor and one for non-labor. And then within here is where you actually populate your costs, right? So you can put your costs in, boom, boom, boom and lay those out, assign those to a project or to a task or an expenditure type, right? Really get into being able to say, this is the work I did. Here's the project. Here's the task it should be built to. Um, expenditure type really gets into what was it? Was it labor? Was it materials? Was it paper, right? Um, and then the quantity, you know, work type we have is a billable. We've got some other fields in here. Most of them they won't use. Um, again, later you can tailor this during the implementation um, to, to, to how you'd like it. But it's a it's a nice way. It's a nice way to get your costs in. You know, we also within this have our timesheets. So, yeah. Again, that's how they do it today. You know, we've got the ability to put time in, right? Um, and then you know, open it up, do the work breakdown structure, put tasks, projects, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I'm not sure if that's because they're not really cap. They're not capturing time to be able to pay people. They're really capturing time so it's billable to a project, right? So they may consider maybe just using the spreadsheet. It may be a better way to, to capture their information. All right. So those are kind of my initial thoughts on that. Um, so we'll talk about it later. Thank you.